Robert Johnson Robert Leroy Johnson was an American blues guitarist, songwriter, and singer. Rumors say that Johnson was horrible at the guitar before he made his deal with the devil. Back then, when Johnson played kinds of music, it was so bad that people would throw stuff at him. Then he left for a while, went to the mysterious crossroads, and returned as a god of the guitar. Niccolo Paganini Niccolo Paganini was an Italian violinist, guitarist, and composer. He was born in Genoa, Italy, in 1782. It is considered to this day that he is one of the greatest violinists to have ever lived. Pope Sylvester II Pope Sylvester, also known as Gerbert of Aurillac, was a French-born scholar and teacher who served as the Bishop of Rome and ruled the Papal States from 999 to his death. He was one of the most learned men of his time. He was well-versed in mathematics, astronomy, Economy, and mechanics. Giuseppe Tartini. This is how you reach legendary status. Just like Robert Johnson, you want to be a person so good at your craft that the only way people can justify it is by saying that you made a deal with the devil. That you're so unreal at ripping down what you do that you must have done some dirty work to get that good. This is what happened with Giuseppe. General Jonathan Moulton. Jonathan Moulton was born in July 1726. He was not always extraordinarily wealthy. Jonathan Moulton started as an apprentice to a cabinet maker, but in 1745 Jonathan left and started his career in the army. While serving in the army, he fought three major wars. Christian Bale. Christian Bale is one of the greatest actors of our generation. How does he do it? Well, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Back in the days people used to say the best people must have sold their soul to the devil to become great, because how else could they do it? Nowadays, if you become rich and famous, you're part of the Illuminati, which worshipping the devil. I mean, it's the only logical answer. It's not like people work hard and can achieve things that no other person ever could. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim was born in September 14, 1486. Agrippa was a magician, German polymath, physician, legal scholar, soldier, theologian, and occult writer. He is one of the most influential occultists of the early modern period. Johann George Faust Johann George Faust, also known as John Faustus, was an itinerant German alchemist, astrologer, and magician of the German Renaissance. Legend says that Faust always wanted to live a life full of pleasure. For this reason, he learned how to summon the devil. Urbain Grandier Urbain Grandier was born on 1590 in Loudun, France. He was a French Catholic priest who was burned at stake after being convicted of witchcraft. Following the so-called Loudun possessions, 